Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Infinite Fusion Nuzlocke. If you guys missed in the last episode, we made it out of Mount Moon and made it to Cerulean City. Actually, no, that was the episode before. We actually took on the Nugget Bridge and made it all the way to Bill to talk to him and get our SSN pass. Um, but we are definitely going to be taking on Misty in this episode, if I remember correctly from the actual games. Her Ace Starmie is usually level 20. Uh, if my Okay, there we go. Our team is level 21 where it matters so <laughs> we're good on that front I'm, I'm of course gonna put reptar in front because you know grass type um about the rule that i made on deaths uh two episodes ago by the way this is the actual episode sorry make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't already um i i mentioned you know asked you guys um what you felt about um fusions dying and deaths and keeping one pokemon but making the other die and and so forth um one of the one of my uh frequent viewers and mods and and good friends uh that scp lady uh suggested that um we do the rules that is a what's up shelby <laughs> how you doing shelby um that um when a fusion dies that i created that i purposely made this is gonna hurt it's not going to kill if it hits all five times, though, is it? Oh, except for there was a crit. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm going to have to check the accuracy. Because I don't think that it's not 100% accurate, but you can't be too sure. It's 100%, okay. So we're going to at least take this thing out. Good, it wasn't a speed tie. I shouldn't have risked that. Uh, anyways, um, so if I create the fusion myself, I'm going to flip a coin and decide which one gets to live. I'm not going to just straight up choose it. Um, I'm going to choose by flipping a coin. But um, if I cut it as a fusion, the fusion is just completely dead. I can't unfuse it and keep one of them. Um, <laughs> it's just a purple horsey with a snake face. Bros, bros had a tough day. Well, it's gonna be ground water. I mean, poison water. So I'm gonna use magnitude. That might. Yeah, it didn't hurt. Magnitude six isn't gonna kill. Almost did. Doesn't matter what magnitude we get, we kill here. You get a ten, sure. Just get the best possible one you can. Why not? Okay, it was Geodude that evolves at 22, right? It's learning Bulldoze, so... I mean... I shouldn't keep on giving it Ground-type moves, because it's not Ground-type, it's a Rock-type. I feel like I kind of want to keep Bite for Psychic and Ghost-type, so... Smackdown might be useful if I want to use a ground type move on it like a poison flying and I don't want to get rid of rock to him either so I'm just gonna give up on bulldoze. I prefer magnitude for now. I guess it didn't evolve at that level. I thought it did. I would use potions but we're just gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. I feel like that's just better. Plus I'm not entirely sure how many potions I have. I'll have to check my bag. But I should probably buy some if I don't have that many left. That would be a good idea. That's not my bag. Um, okay. We have six regular potions and a super potion. I'm going to see if I can afford some more. The Mart's right there. Is that it? That looks like Slowbro Fused with Electrode. Slow... Slow Road? It's a slow road you can't go fast on. It. We're gonna buy 14 of these because we got plenty of monies. How many Pokeballs do I have? Eight. We'll get 12 more. And then Splicers. We got 10, but what's another 10? We'll make sure that we don't have to buy any for a while. And I don't care about Reversers. That's just to flip the the fusion and i'm not really interested in that especially if i decide that the original one's better than i have to use two i feel like that's a waste 
I think I, I said to, you know, accustom myself to that rule where, where that I've decided where fusions, I get to keep at least one to accommodate for that. So it's like, it seems more fair. Uh, I won't reverse the fusion. I'll just take what I get that. <laughs> Shout out to Timmy. <laughs> That's a Diglett with star use gem. How beautiful. Of course they use bulldoze. That's neutral though. Yeah, lower my speed. This is going to be quad super effective. It's definitely water ground. Picnicker Diana. More like Princess Diana. Alright, let's heal. Okay, so these first two people's Pokemon have kind of scared me for Reptar. But I have hope. We're going to take on Misty with a grin. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What is your approach? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world-famous beauty, is your host. I'll let you use two Pokemon for the fight. Oh yeah, I forgot that we're only allowed to use a certain amount. Boulder Dash was useful in that one specific situation, but that's because it was part poison. Baki might end up being more useful if I need a fighting type. I'm going to take my chances though and use Boulder Dash. Hopefully this goes well for me. Let's see what you got, Misty. That's interesting. Her overworld sprite... Her overworld sprite <laughs> was for her modern design, but her battle sprite is basically her in the anime. Anyways, this is Jiggly Dean. <laughs> is it normal water or fairy water? I think you would keep the primary type, right? So it's normal water. Either way, I mean, it's not going to do much to a poison type with fairy type moves. <laughs> it's using water pulse anyway. It's not going to do much with either. Okay, thanks for confusing me. Don't hit yourself, Reptar. Okay, thank you. Very much thank you. <laughs> Alright, what's her other Pokemon? Odd you. That's Oddish and Star you. No Starmie. Weird. Oh, that's cool. It's like it's like one of the flowers from SpongeBob. You know, in the sky. Kind of. Not quite. Yeah, that's definitely grass water. So this will be neutral. I I should poison it first. I'm gonna poison it first. Do not hit yourself. Dang it, man. I forgot you were still confused. Okay, thank you for snapping out. Oh, man. I was trying to remember. I mean, that was more of a test to see if it was grass type. Because I, 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 I knew... Okay, maybe it's poison type, actually. It could be poison. It could be poison water. I'm not sure. It looks like it would be grass, but... I'm just going to guess that, you know, since poison powder doesn't affect grass types... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the fact that it's grass, because it looks like a grass type. Oh, of course, of course. Why wouldn't you use a super potion? Well, I'm going to use another vine whip, and then I'm going to use a super potion myself. How about them apples, Misty? Or should I say, Mistilda? I don't know. Misty might be her full name, but it sounds like it would be a nickname for something. Like, Sierra Mist. <laughs> Just kidding, that stuff's dead. It's called Starry now. Oh, come on. Speaking of stars, I wish I could put you to sleep with sleep powder so you could... Now it's going to be a stall fest, isn't it? Stupid. All right, let's see how much takedown does. Let's see how smart and slick you are with recovery when you get takedowned. Okay, that did more damage. Okay, I'm not going to change that use this water pulse and I get confused, so I'm going to use a potion first. Like, get confused and hit myself, you know. Okay, you didn't get confused, that's good, but still can't take my chances. Can't take my chances. I told you one too many times. Can't say the next lyric. Shout out to Godsmack for real. <laughs> Alright, well we beat our second gym leader. We got our second gym badge. Wow. 
You're too much. All right, you can have the cas Cascade badge to show you beat me. Can I have the Dictionary badge to show I can read? The Cascade badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even the ones in obtained in trade. You can also have my favorite TM. Wow, Water Pulse is her favorite TM? I thought it was Recovery. <laughs> TM55 teaches Water Pulse. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon. And one premium Wonder Trade ticket. Well, I have an aquatic Pokemon. And I'm, I don't think it knows a water type move yet, does it? It doesn't. It knows two rock type moves, a ground type move, and a dark type move. So if it can learn water pulse, I wouldn't be surprised and I would encourage it. Good. Okay. So now that we gotta get rid of one. Um Water Pulse is 60 base. Special, though. It's a special attack. Unlike the physical friends here. And I'm pretty sure that Gyarados is a physical attacker. Because Gyarados is a physical attacker, and I'm pretty sure Golem is one. When does Gyarados normally learn another water type move? Gyarados, because this has got to be Gen 5, like everything about this game is Gen 5 and a Gen 3 base, so I'm just going to assume that I should be looking at Gen 5 here. Uh, it says it learns Aqua Tail at 35, so it would be a hot minute before it learns one. I mean, having a special attack on a physical attacker isn't the worst idea, so... I'm going to get rid of Rock Tomb, only because it has a 5% chance to miss, and because I want I want to be able to use Ground-type moves on Poison types that might be Flying-type. That was an issue I had before, and I, I would like to have that on there until I can get out of that issue, which my hope is to end up with a Ground-type at some point. I did catch a Sand Shrew, but... Nothing that I can fuse it with really seems interesting to me. If I fuse it with Ivysaur, I think it might become Grass Ground. That's four times weak to Ice. A Ground Fighting type doesn't really have a. It doesn't have a four times weakness, but I mean, is it really necessary? I can't even think of a Ground Fighting type Pokemon that actually exists as of right now. Somebody's probably gonna be like, oh. This Pokemon's a ground fighting type, and I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, but right now I don't really care to think about it. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'll be completely honest here. Not really interested in. Although I think a Sand Shrew in Ivysaur Fusion might be a little bit uh or Venusaur Fusion might be a little bit interesting. But I'm not really interested. Anyways, now that we can move on, um <laughs> uh which way do you usually go? I mean this would bring us another encounter. Right? Yeah, this guy lets you through, so we can at least get another encounter here. Oh no. You need cut that. I'm thinking of the wrong route. I'm thinking on the right of Vermilion, where we're going to be heading for the next gym. Right, that's Lieutenant Surge's gym, Vermilion. Because, Ver yeah, because I always get Vermilion and Viridian mixed up. Vermilion is where Lieutenant Surge's Viridian is where Giovanni is. Sometimes I'd even get mixed up with Saffron somehow. I'm like, isn't that where Sabrina's gym is? No. That would be Saffron. We do get another encounter here. I, I do want to say that. And it is a Meowth and Teddy Ursa fusion. That's just a plain old normal type. I don't... Uh, I mean, I'll catch it, I guess. But I don't care. I don't like using normal types. I don't. Normal is my least favorite type. I try to avoid using normal types at all costs unless it makes the type combo useful. Like Hisui and Zoroark. I love Hisui and Zoroark as much as Unib and Zoroark. They're both great. And the normal ghost type on the Hisui form makes it cooler. Because it's only weak to dark. So, I like that. Okay, I'm going to use one more Pokeball. I'm not going to waste a bunch of Pokeballs on something I don't care about. 
as much as a Persian and Ursa infusion might be, I'm not going to use this thing, so... <laughs> Bye! Sorry, not sorry. But there's another route after this, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll definitely get another encounter. And hopefully it's something that I feel like catching and maybe even want to fuse with something on my team. That would be even cooler. If I get Psyduck, or I think even Growlithe can show up on this route. I mean, it was able to and let's go, I'm pretty sure. So I tried hunting for it originally and got a shiny... No, I tried shiny hunting for Jigglypuff and got a shiny Growlithe on exhibit. That's what it was. Anyways, let's see what we get here. Meowth. Now I wish I would have caught that fusion so I could count this as dupes. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Okay, well, you better stay in the ball because I'm not using you either. We're definitely going to have to get that route on the right if we're able to. And Diglett Cave. That's a free Diglett. I might actually be interested in fusing Doug Trio with something or Diglett. We'll have to see. I can't really attack this thing. I mean, I can use Bug Eden, I guess. I can switch back to Ivy Sword to put it to sleep. That's about it, though. Um, I'll use Quick Attack. Yeah, Quick Attack can do that much. Rock Smash probably would have done more, so... We'll try a Pokeball now. And if it doesn't stay in the ball, we'll switch back out to Ivy Sword and put it to sleep. Wow, it didn't even shake. Bro really thinks he's him. I was talking about how I hate having normal types on the team and I forgot about Raditz. But Raditz is our HM buddy. It's on the team for a reason. <laughs> it's on there for a reason. I should probably put it to sleep first. <laughs> Go to sleep. Don't make a peep. Just die, you little cat. Just kidding. Get in, get in the Premier Ball. We're gonna use a Premier Ball. Maybe you'll like a Premier Ball. I mean, it's a normal type. Normal's white, I guess. Okay, we got it. We got Meowth. And, um... We're just, we're just gonna name it Jessie, because it's a female Meowth. We're gonna name it Jessie. Her name's, yeah, her name's spelled with an I. Because Jessie's like a, a more masculine way of spelling it, I guess. I mean, that's the way society has spelled it for guys named Jessie. Girls have an IE, Jesse. Guys have just an E at the end. I don't think I've ever met a guy named Jesse that spells it with an IE. Those are a couple Pikachu fusions. I definitely like Pika Poke better. Bro looks traumatized. He looks like a traumatized, hungry, hungry hippo. <laughs> Pika Duck's just like, yo, what's up? I'm just chilling. Like, it doesn't even look like it's in pain like Psyduck is. It's just like, so, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess we we'll use Seismic Toss on Pika Duck and use Vine Whip on Pika Poke. I mean, both are electric water or water electric, either way. That was a crit and it wasn't super effective. Maybe it's psychic then. Pika Duck's got to be at least water type because it's just got one type. We're just going to use those attacks again. We're faster than both of them. They're going to... Except for the fact that Pika Poke used Quick Attack, but that's fine. <laughs> Get out of here, Pika Duck. Oh, yeah, sure. Paralyze me. I actually wanted that. Surprise. Are you surprised? You better be surprised. Because I'm good at surprising people. Take that. All right, so we're definitely not going to have you in the front anymore. I have Reptar in the front. I really wish I could just avoid these trainers so I can get that encounter, but it's okay. It looks like one of the episode was encounters, and maybe fusions if we get good enough encounters. Spiritle and Pidgey. That... I was thinking that looks like it evolved into War Turtle, but no, it's too small. So it's just Spiro and... Uh, Squirtle. I forgot the Pokemon's name there for a second. Boulder Dash would definitely be useful. I don't know why... We just put one Pokemon at the front and didn't switch out Baki. No, 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 no. We're not switching out Reptar. 
Uh, we're gonna poison powder Pidgey and switch Baki out to Boulder Dash. Let's hope that Reptar doesn't get attacked by two flying type moves and they try to go for the Pokemon that was almost dead that's weak to flying. Okay, or they use Rapid Spin on the Pokemon that's almost dead. Hmm. Okay, one of them used Gust. Good thing I switched out. It's not like I would have stayed in. That would have been dumb. Anyways. I don't feel like taking recoil damage because they're definitely going to go after Ivysaur, so I'm just going to smack down. Because I'm pretty sure that thing's going to be flying water. So it'd be not neutral because water doesn't resist rock. Get out of here. Pidgey's just losing HP because of poison damage, so. Take that smack down. Alright. Another day, another dub. Oh. That actually looks kind of cool. For a base form of a Pokemon, I like the eyebrows. That's a really nice touch. I use Water Pulse. Yeah, we took it out. That's an actually nice looking fusion, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you'd think it would look goofy, but it actually looks kind of nice. Bro, how many Pidgeys did you need? Bro, has three Pokemon. The other guy only had one. Bro used up all his energy on using his Spearow with a Squirtle. Alright, goodbye, Pidgey. Level 23 for Reptar. Wants to know Sweet Scent? Nah, not worried on it about that. Sweet Scent is only really cool in Gen 6 because of Hortz. Otherwise... Talk to the hand. <laughs> Alright. Can I make it through without battling more people? Doesn't look like it, but these are the last people. Vermilion City... Yeah, that's... Oh, it's not a double battle. I have to fight them individually. The other guy better have one Pokemon. I just want to catch Pokemon in the episode. <laughs> oh, come on, Reptar. Don't lose to Hyper Fang again, you goofy goober. I have to lose you to Hyper Fang twice. It's not going to be my favorite thing in the world. It would be very sad. Take Vine Whip. Take it. Take it like a champ. Alright. Pecans. <laughs> it's a nut. <laughs> Pikachu with Ekans is a freaking pecan. Yo, bro looks pretty tasty, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. That's gonna tickle. But this is going to tickle even more. It's four times super effective. The original first electric poison type. Get out of here, Toxtricity. You thought. I forgot this guy's still here. Please just have one. Of course. And of course he's starting out with something that grass is weak to. We're going to use takedown. And we're not going to miss this time. Goodbye. All right, what's your other one? Audicate. Audition Radicate. That's not good for any of my team right now. Okay, I have a plan. It's going to be a bit risky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Leave me alone. Why do you look like that? I'm going to potion up Baki. Okay, good. Free turn. The paralyze box paralyze heal Baki. Bro's dumb, he's giving me free turns out the wazoo. Okay, that's why that was risky. We're gonna switch out to Baki. This thing's gotta be grass normal. Okay, don't hurt. Kinda hurt. So did that. Okay, sick. We got a crit. I, I don't know if that mattered. I'm just going to say that it mattered. Okay, I know that I'm at 25 minutes and that's usually where I stop, but I want to get those encounters this episode because I want encounters that matter and not ones that I either will never use or just don't catch. 
which actually the only one that applies to the other one was also one that I wouldn't use. All right. Put Meowth in there. I mean, Diglett Cave is just an automatic just Diglett unless it's somehow different, but I doubt it is. I seriously do. Just kidding. I mean, this game surprises you left and right. It could have something else, but I'm probably going to get Diglett. It's probably the most likely encounter. Is that a Diglett? No way. Who would have guessed? Yeah, I might fuse it with something. I might. Let's put the sleep first. I'm going to see what I catch on the other route first. Because this looks like it would be not a terrible idea to fuse with Mankey. Especially because a primate fusion with Dub Trio would be hilarious. I'm already going to sense that. We're going to name you... Have I used Oasis in this game yet? I think I did for the Sandshrew. Dang. Well, I guess we'll name it after its stand user. I named it Seko. <laughs> yep. Definitely not going to use that nickname for the rest of the series. And that's not sarcasm. I'm not going to. <laughs> Already used it twice. Can't use it anymore. <laughs> Alright. Last encounter time. What is it going to be? Not using this. Not using this for sure. I was hoping to get a Magnemite. Or hell even 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 a Grimer. I think Grimer would spawn here. Although I already have a poison type with Reptar, so I guess not. Magnemite would be the ultimate choice. Especially for a fighting electric type, dude. Having that on the team would be top tier, but we're not going to get another attempt at being able to catch another electric type for a while, so... I'm just going to take what I can and have a Doug Trio here. Or Diglett, used with Minky. Uh, we're going to call you French Fry. I used to call all my Spiros and Furos French Fry back in the day. Never knew why, I just did. So, let's go ahead and take out some DNA splicers. And, uh... Fuse Seko and Baki, what item do you have? I'm going to check that first. Soft Sand, okay. We're going to use the DNA Splicers to fuse Seko with Baki. That one looks kind of like Muck. That one's just the glue with a tail. Hmm. I feel like this one would just be Doug Tri like Doug Trio's heads being replaced by Maniki. I feel like I want to go with this one. So I'm going to go with this one. The ground primary one. Let's see what it looks like. It was a meatball. <laughs> like that diggy diggy are raised in most forms however that since this happens instantly there's no time to flee okay so we're gonna keep the name Seko because it's underground I like vital spirit because it keeps me from falling asleep I'm definitely gonna take that sandstorms aren't gonna happen very often it's a gen 3 game but it's not not common. Plus defense, my special defense, neutral. I definitely don't want the neutral. We'll take that. We're going to combine the movesets. Astonish. I guess we'll get rid of Leer. Mud Slap. Hey, Mud Slap isn't as good as what I have on Gira, dude. I'll also get rid of Fury Swipes. I'll get rid of Fury Swipes. Oh, it wants to learn Magnitude, too? Okay, we'll, be, we'll teach the actual ground-type Magnitude, and then if I get a better move than Magnitude on Gira, dude, we'll 
replace it. Uh, you want to learn everything. I'm going to not teach you bulldoze because that's the same thing that has to do with. Oh wait, no, I don't have SmackDown on this. Ah, whatever. <laughs> ah, whatever. Well, guys, that is definitely going to do it for the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of the Infinite Fusion Nuzlocke. If you did enjoy, of course, make sure to like the video if you haven't already. And subscribe for more weekly Pokemon content, not only, not only in videos, but also in the streams. I shiny hunt most of the time. I also do other stuff, such as playing Super Mario Galaxy, as I am doing right now. And we'll be playing Sonic Adventure for the very first time soon. Uh, but until next time, this is Infernum and Burning Out. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Adios.